Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to the Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. All right, traders, as you've seen, if you've been following the Omni and doing your own homework, indicators and market movement have really come back together in a very positive way. And it's been allowing us to call practically the highs and the lows in markets that we've been trading, bonds and S&Ps especially, since they came back together towards the end of last week. Thank goodness, you know, I've been telling you that they were sort of out of sync with market movement indicators, not in sync with market movement. The market would get erratic and you couldn't really figure out if you should be buying and selling it. If you did, how quickly you should jump out. That does seem to have come back in line, thank goodness. Um, However, I have something, traders, I have been doing homework for the last few hours, and two videos ago, I held up a series of charts before you, and I mentioned that the Omni's proprietary moving average, for whatever reason, seemed to be right in the thick of the action in many markets. And we covered a bunch of different sectors of commodity markets, and I mentioned, you know, here's a chart, here's the average, here's what's going on, and when lots of charts start to hover around the Omni's proprietary moving average, you get big movement away from that. And it's not really something that should be happening all the time. In other words, it's a very rare occasion that you have a multitude of markets in different sectors all hovering around this specific average. That is happening right now. And traders, I kid you not, this video is going to be like Roots or something. This is going to be like an epic story here. It's going to take a long time for us to get through because I have a multitude of charts I want to show you. I will try to rip through them very quickly because there are a lot, but the reason behind showing them to you is so that you can be prepared for what's coming next. And I kid you not, there is a big trading turn coming our way. A lot of it seems to be starting, and a lot of it's already underway. And after you see this chart segment, I think you will understand what I'm getting at. Because it's going to take so much time, traders, we should get right to the charts. There is an Omni we will discuss after the chart segment. We're looking for a little more downside. Before I get into the charts, remember this. You have an FOMC Fed meeting, the U.S. Federal Open Market Committee's meeting tomorrow and Wednesday. You have the European Bank meeting discussing interest rates. You have the Bank of England getting together discussing interest rates. You had the Australian Bank today leave interest rates alone. And my take from the charts you are about to see and all the other markets I follow is that interest rates will not be touched by any of these major institutions. The Fed's not changing rates. The ECB's not changing rates. The BOE's not changing rates. Australia didn't change rates. I don't think anybody wants to touch rates right now. That's my take from the charts. But with no further ado, remember, you are going to look at the Omni's proprietary moving average and a multitude of charts hovering around that average and what they're doing now. Okay, traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, we are going to look at currencies first. Australian dollar September daily bar. This is the Omni's proprietary moving average. This is the first of the currencies to break it and start to break down. Look at the breakdown here, traders. We're all the way down to here already. And believe it or not, you've got a head and shoulders that formed right before the break in the currencies. This is Australian dollar. We have many to get through, so I'm going to rip right through these charts. Let's look at another currency. Okay, trade is up next is the British pound, the BPU-8, Omni's proprietary moving average. And it is already beginning to get through. It penetrated and went down for a second day. Another currency. Now you have British pound. Just keep an eye on this proprietary average because you will see my point. So that's British pound now. Let's look at a few more. Okay, traders, you are looking at euro currency now. Another head and shoulders formation. The Omni proprietary average, and we're just there now below that average. Another currency that is getting below the average. You've seen what happened with the Australian dollar. Once it got below that average, it broke hard. If these other currencies are following in suit, they're going to break hard next. Let's keep looking. Traders, now you're looking at the dollar index. 
the dollar index happens to now be above the Omni's proprietary average. And look at it, a nice run up so far. Here you'd have the 200, I think a target, but for now, a world currency against the other currencies I just showed you. And for some reason, this one's above the Omni proprietary. And look, an inverted head and shoulders. So that's interesting because you have upright head and shoulders in the other currencies, the euro currencies, an inverted head and shoulders in the dollar index, dollar index above the average, other currencies below the average. After getting through the head and shoulders, started to break down. I kid you not, and this is only the beginning. We got many sectors to get through. Here's your currencies. Let's look at more. Okay, traders, now you're looking at copper. We're in the metals. We did currencies. Now we're in metals. We're going for copper. Copper was the first of the metals to go, like the Australian was the first of the metals, to, uh, the first of the currencies to go. Well, copper was the first of the metals to go. Copper, it hits the average three days ago and broke down severely and got through the 200. So now we're in the metals, right? See what copper did? Let's look at a few other charts. Look at the gold. The gold's the second to go and it's just now below the proprietary and just getting below the 200. Trade as we have not been below the 200 for quite some time in gold, like the copper, when it goes, it's gonna break hard. If the gold does not get back above the Omni proprietary, it is another one that's going to get hammered. One more metal, let's show you now. Silver traders below the Omni proprietary moving average. Now getting to the 200, stayed below for a couple of days, a head and shoulders formation. Do you see the pattern starting to repeat here? I think that the silver now, if it gets below the 200, based on failing at the Omni proprietary average, you got some downside. But there are other sectors we need to look at. We did currencies and metals. Let's go look at the softs now because traders, I kid you not, this is happening across the entire spectrum of commodities. They are all converging at the Omni's proprietary moving average, and most of them are beginning to break or race towards the 200 bar moving average. And we all know the 200 bar moving average is being followed by all the fund managers and all the big companies out there. So let's continue looking at these charts. You are looking at sugar now. We are in the sugar. The sugar was one of the first to go. This is actually a weekly. The daily went all the way up. The sugar gets above on a weekly and up, off to the race as it goes. It's above the Omni proprietary. It's above the 200. It was the first of the softs to begin to show us some wiggle room after getting past the Omni proprietary. Let's go look at a few more. Cocoa, opposite of sugar, came down below the Omni proprietary as of yesterday as of Monday's trading. Here's the Omni proprietary. It's a very rare occasion that you are below it. Will it hold below? Well, I don't know if it'll hold. No one can tell you that for sure until it makes up his mind. It either holds or doesn't. But I can say expect big action away from that average, no matter which way it goes. The 200 is down here. That seems to be the target of the other markets that we're looking at. So there is a possibility that lower we will go. But keep in mind, it's, this is just an illustration of all the markets that are converging around the Omni's proprietary moving average. Let's look at more. Now we're looking at coffee traders. Coffee below the Omni proprietary moving average and a big spike once it got below. And believe it or not, another head and shoulders pattern. This is a very repetitive pattern that you are seeing over and over again below the Omni proprietary, and now you are also below the 200, and a big break has taken place, and another head and shoulders. I think you are beginning to see a pattern here. I know I'm seeing one. We have a long way to go. Let's look at more charts here. Orange juice traders, you are looking at the juice. This was one of the first of the soft sector to really make a break for the downside, after it gets past the Omni proprietary here, look at the size of the break that we have. Boom. Big, big break. Below the 200, traders, there is something major, major going on here. I kid you not. 
There is no other way to look at this. Remember that we should not have this multitude of markets, this many markets, so diversified, all breaking away from this omni proprietary moving average, unless it means some big, big fundamental news is going to drive our markets in a very large way. That's what this is about. Let's go look at a few more charts. Okay, traders, the next chart you're looking at, we are now going into the grain sector. The first of the grains to break the omni proprietary was the oats market. This is the oats September daily bar. Look at the break right here. In fact, this is the December daily bar, not the September. Look at the break here from the Omni Proprietary. Wow, it went down, rested a little bit, and then broke the 200 bar average. That's the oats. There's way more to go, so let's keep looking. Now you have corn. It was the second one to go. Look at what happened here. Look at the size of the break after getting below. The what, guys? Chime in with me here. Omni proprietary moving average. Once again, I think you're starting to see my point here. Many markets are going to have violent moves after getting below or above the Omni's proprietary moving average. So here you have corn breaks all the way down to the 200, rallies a little, and takes out the 200 bar moving average, which is right here. So now we've looked at currencies, metals, softs. And we're starting to look at grains. So as you see, there are the sectors across the commodity spectrum, not just in one area. Let's look at more here. Okay, we are now looking at soybeans. November daily bar. Look at the beans, traders. Again, an illustration of... The Omni uh, proprietary moving average. We get below that average. Look, it hits the average. And look at it. It hits and it bounces. It hits and it bounces. It hits and it bounces. And then break, break. It gets right down to the 200. And as you've seen, many of the charts are starting to take out the 200 bar. So lots of bearishness coming in below that average. But this is not the end of the story. Let's continue. Now we are looking at wheat traders. It is the shortest or smallest amount of movement that we've seen after getting below the Omni proprietary. So we are below the 200 now in some sort of a channel down and this thing is absolutely looking like it wants to go lower. So the Omni's proprietary moving average is all over the map and every market I've shown you so far, either you got below it and broke hard or you were able to get above it and start to rally hard, but there's big movement after you get away from this average. And point again behind this is so many charts, so many separate and different commodities are hovering around this average or breaking away from it right now all at the same time. Traders, it is not usual. It is a phenomenon, something that you should pay attention to, and we are not done. Let's look at more. Okay, now you are looking into another sector here. We did currencies, metals, softs, grains, and now we are in the meats sector. Look at the feeder cattle, the first one to go. This is the Omni's proprietary moving average. Only three days ago, you were here at the average. Look at the run from that average, traders. You think I'm kidding. The sugar looked just like this on the daily too. The ones that get above are exploding. The ones that get below are having serious breaks. And I think I have a few more examples here, so let's go forward. Live cattle, traders, October live cattle daily bar. Look, we just got above it and it's starting to go. Here's the Omni proprietary. If you remember that feeder cattle chart, it looked the exact same way. You had the average, it dipped below and then exploded. So that is what it looks like is happening for the meats sector, where almost every other sector I've shown you so far is below that average and breaking hard below it. The meats are above and beginning to break out above it. But as I keep saying, we're not done yet because guys, what am I showing everybody? The Omni proprietary moving average. If you think you've seen something, you ain't seen nothing yet. Let's go, baby. There's more here. You ready? All right, we are gonna look at another chart. In fact, there's a lot more charts here. Pork bellies. What does pork bellies do? It gets to the Omni's proprietary and breaks hard like it did here. And just like it did up here, we hit that and broke, 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 and here we are all the way down here. So as you can see, this average 
plays no games, it takes no prisoners traders. This is a very good average. If you'd like to know how to use this average and how we trade with it, come on down to the Omnis Trading Academy. It's www.livewithoscar.com. Hop into one of our chat rooms and we'll show you what we do with this average. But if you're interested now, wait until you see what else we have in store for you. There is more to look at around this average. Let's keep going here. All right, traders, now we are getting into the energy markets. We're in the energy markets now, and boy, oh boy, look at this break. The first to go was natural gas. Omni proprietary moving average. Look at the size of the break that has happened since. I mean, that is a huge break. First one to go out of the oil sector or the energy sector. Now, you would think, like I've shown you in these other charts, the first currency went, and other currencies are following right behind. The first metal went. The first soft went, the first grain went, and every other chart I showed you looked just like the first one, only didn't quite get there yet. This is the first one in the energy sector. Look at the next one. Heating oil, just now getting below that average, and it did not hold. It's traded a little bit and began to break. So now you have heating oil below the average. Trade as it has not been below this average since the beginning of this year. So there is something going on here. We broke the 200 bar average that you see here in the natural, which was the first to go out of the energy sector. Well, here's the heating oil. Let's go get some gasoline. Crude comes up next. We'll do the gasoline after that. Crude just yesterday on Monday got below the Omni proprietary and had a severe break. Just got below, and again, another one that has not been below since the beginning of this year. Gets below, has a severe break, heading towards the 200. Traders, are we seeing a pattern? Guys back there, are you seeing a pattern here? Yeah. yeah. Unreal, pattern. right? I Great. see it. All right, there is more. We're not done yet. Next, we are going to look at that gasoline chart. There it is, gasoline traders, and look at how the gas... Two days ago, got below the average, break, big break, and we're trading here right now, and obviously it's heading towards the 200 bar moving average. So the Omni's proprietary moving average traders, I kid you not, this is a real good lesson for you. This is a heads up warning that big, big movement is coming our way in many of these commodities, and we are still not done. Let's look at more here. All right, traders, next up here on the block, we are looking at interest rate markets. 10-year notes, first of the interest rates to go. A few days ago, 10-year notes gets above the Omni proprietary and above the 200 where they converge together. Powerful run up, run up, and now it's hanging there. Interest rates will not be changed. What will happen next? We'll see what the herd mentality thinks. But you have some sort of an apex you're breaking out of. You have the Omni proprietary. You see the run we're getting. You've seen what all these other charts have done once they've released themselves from the Omni proprietary. There's a lot going on here, traders. There is still more charts to look at. Let's look at the next one. Remember, 10-year notes went first. Let's go look at bonds now. Traders, 30-year bonds, daily bar. Same sort of thing, you're getting some sort of a big apex here, and you just got above the Omni proprietary and the 200 as they converge together. And look, you've already had some nice up days, and it looks like it's getting towards the top of our little apex here. So, as you have seen in the other charts, when the leader of that sector gets above or below the Omni proprietary first, the others in that sector seem to follow without much trouble at all. Now, I think it's time to go look at some indice markets. Okay, traders, the Dow Jones Transportation Average. Look what happened here. We got up to the Omni Proprietary Moving Average and failed after putting in a little double top. Down we go, down we go again, heading towards the 200 bar moving average. Now, you have seen it in currencies, metals, softs, grains, meats, energies, interest rates, and indices. I don't think I have to continue forward to get this point across, but being that I see a few more charts, let's just look at them. 
I think traders, if you do your own homework, you will find that there is absolutely something to all of these markets converging around the Omni's proprietary moving average. We have done videos about this in the past. We'll talk about that a little later. Let's look at more. Okay, traders, we are looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average on a weekly. The Dow Jones Industrial Average weekly bar chart. Look what happened when it got into the zone of the Omni proprietary. Since then, we have broken severely and is now below the 200 bar. We are below the 200 bar. We broke severely from the Omni proprietary. When is the last time we were below the Omni proprietary? 2006. 2006. That's the last time we were able to get below that. And way before that, we were below the 200. Way before. So now that we're below the 200 as well, I think you can see that there is an absolute pattern going on here. Let's look at another chart. Hey traders, this is it. I won't drive you crazy anymore, but look at the S&P weekly cash market. Again, touches the Omni's proprietary moving average one last time and has a severe break below the 200 and has a really big break. And now we're hanging out down here. Again, 2006 was the last time you got below the Omni proprietary, as you can see right here in the S&P cash market, then it gets below, breaks, gets back to it, breaks even harder and gets below the 200. I think you can see what's happening here, traders. We have a really, really volatile market and out of 27 charts, only six were going up. Out of 27 charts, you had 27 in total, 21 going down and six going up. How about that? Do your own homework on this, traders. I hope this helps you with your view going forward. Okay, traders. So you've seen those charts. Traders, are you kidding me with this? Look at this. Guys, what am I throwing out here? The uh, proprietary moving average. average. Chart after chart after chart. There is no way you can have this many markets all hovering around my proprietary moving average and that mean nothing. It is impossible that that means nothing. There is a fundamental shift taking place, traders. Out of all of those markets, we had 27 to show you. I kid you not, there were about 37 all total, but I didn't know how far I can go. And out of all of those 27 I've shown you, only six were pointing up. That means a lot of these commodities are going down. And you know what the whole thing tells me? Dollar index is about to begin its ascend towards the upside. What else could this mean? If all those commodities I just showed you are priced in dollars, and if they're going down, this is like a scale, right? They're going down, dollars are going up. I can't see anything else happening here unless every one of those charts or markets turns around and goes up and the dollar gets hammered. So I think that's what this whole thing means, at least it does to me. And until they prove me wrong, I think we're going to have some up move in this dollar over the, you know, 8, 10, 12 months going forward. I don't think it comes out of the chute tomorrow and blasts off. But I think this whole thing tells us our U.S. dollar is going to become strong. Okay, so that's my idea behind this traders. I do these videos and I do this homework for you traders out there to help you traders figure out where these markets are going to go. So make sure you come on down to the Omni Trading Academy and come to our classes so I can further help you get this right. Traders, we have thousands of Omniacs, hundreds of them show up every day to come to our site. We hold lessons every day. I'm on live webcam with streaming audio video. I am here to help you. I have a full staff around me. I have a whole backbone in Chicago. There are a lot of people here putting this together to help you get this right. You might hear a lot from the TV land and the talking heads and the other people out there, but let me tell you something. I don't know if they're showing you what's going on out there. I love to show you a clear, easy picture of what is going on out there. And I've said this to you many times, don't fall in love with the upside and all the moves that we've seen since I've been putting this on my board since probably Jan of this year have been failed movement on the upside. 
When that changes, I'll be the first to inform you. And that could be coming soon because all those markets are starting to head down. They were all heading up while the S&P was heading down. So I think what could happen here, literally, is if they keep pushing all these commodity markets down, we could see some capitulation in the S&P and get the heck out of this bear. I am not looking that forward right now. I am a day trader. I am showing you what it looks like today so we can trade tomorrow. We'll see what the market does. For now, I'm in the bear camp, as you all know, considering the S&P markets. All right, traders. Again, I hope that helped you. Let's go with... 080508, it is August 5th, it is Tuesday, and we have another red omni. But again, I will remind you, the Fed, the ECB, and the BOE are all getting together this week to decide on interest rates. Fed starts tomorrow. I say none of them do a thing. And I think after seeing those charts, you can see why probably everyone's going to sit tight and see where these markets are going. All right, so we have the S&P E-mini with the red omni. Omni says to sell. The mid to high 1250s, traders, mid to high 1250s, kick your orders out up there, place your stops in the sensible area. You're going to have volatility, but it won't be so wide tomorrow because of the FOMC meeting. So I don't think it's a stop running day, but still place your stop in a sensible area. And even if it's a slow day, stops need to be wide in the environment that we're in. Traders, the VIX, the VIX is getting up there again. So volatility is abound. Make sure you watch your stops. See, selling the mid to high 1250s. Omni's profit objective is a stab down into the 1230s. If they really handle this thing, we have support on the way down, and we will issue you an absolute objective as the market data accumulates throughout the day. We will let you know via our flash update system, and that flash update system gives you alerts via email and right on your site, right on the site where you can see them just like that. And you know, traders, if you're in my premium room, I grab a microphone, I give it to you right there on the microphone. You can't get any quicker than that, right? So make sure you're there. Make sure you get your butts in the premium room. Because when I say, hey, let's get in, when you hear that on the microphone, you go sell, market, boom, in. Everybody else has to wait a little bit while I type it and shoot it out to the emails. So do yourselves a favor. Come on down to the site. Jump in that premium room. That's where all the pros seem to be gathering. All right, traders. There's a lot that's going to happen in the next few days. Again, I think tomorrow could be basically mellow. Maybe we'll get a chance to sell a rally and have it back off a little. Wednesday, probably you do nothing and let the Fed come out with a decision, but we'll take one day at a time. All right, traders, if you like this video and you'd like to see more of them, kindly go to my YouTube spot. It's www.youtube.com forward slash futures analysts. When you get there, be sure to subscribe to the videos and please post comments. Comment on those videos. Don't gear them towards me. Don't compliment me. Don't attack me. Don't do anything about me. I do this to help traders in the world out there. So I would like for you to comment on my videos and gear those towards the new traders out there. Let them know that there is a place that they can get real help, learn real analysis, and there's nobody here trying to pick their pockets. There's no snake oil here. And all you Omniacs, you know what I'm talking about. And I thank you every day for your support, Omniacs. So thank you so much. All right. So subscribe to the videos, leave comments. Remember, gear them towards the new traders out there. Let's help. You Please have you help me help them. All right, traders, if you'd like to give me a buzz anytime, day or night, 702-629-4755. And as always, continue shooting out those emails. You can email me at oscar at futuresanalysts.com. Guys, after watching that video, is there any line that you guys would like to say? Uh, Omni proprietary moving average. There you go. There's one on a crowd that's paying attention. <laughs> I hope you make a better student in class tomorrow, Mikey. All right, traders. So that's going to be about it for this video. Do your homework. Make sure you place your stops. Always place stops first. This is a very risky business, traders. You can lose everything you ever dreamed of owning just by getting into a commodities market, not knowing what you're doing, and not protecting yourselves with protective stops. So don't think that this is easy because it is not, and it is very dangerous, but it can be done right if you're careful and you do your homework. Okay, traders, thank you very much for watching this video. And say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, because it'll help you 
with your emotional side of trading and the emotions behind trading is probably the hardest thing for you to overcome. Once you get your emotions out of trading, everything becomes clearer to you. And you know what that is? Stop serving! Emotions are out! Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.